the music was extremely important. I mean, I think that, you know, when you've got that many Clash songs in a project, you know, there's, there's pressure to make sure that you, you know, present that, them in a way that is correct. And then you, you, you have a need for all this other music. So, you, so I, I had to really dive in and find all this other great music from the time and, you know, from the reggae that, that, that the Clash was listening to and heavily influenced by to other punk of the time. And, and really, it was fun putting the, putting the music together. It was really one of the, one of, one of the more interesting and, and fun things that I probably won't get a chance to do the exact same thing again just because it, it's music that I listen to. And, and it was so much fun just diving in and really, uh, you know, re-listening to hundreds of old songs to try to find what was right. Well, I mean, they, they had to read the script and they had to sign off on what we wanted to do and what we wanted to use. And, and thankfully, they, they approved of it. And we were able to use all of those Clash songs and, and represent the band in the film as much as we did. And, and it really was, uh, was pretty special that they allowed that to happen. Because the film wouldn't have worked without it, obviously. But at the same time, the extent that they're represented in the film is just, uh, I mean, it really is, is uh, kind of unheard of. I don't think they've ever been, been uh, in a film that much before, except for maybe Rude Boy, which was a mockumentary of theirs in 78.